And now for something completely different. said he uh, let you put his arm around it, or let him put you, uh, you know? I really shocked him. I, I walked in the, I got into the car on his side and didn't slide over. And I put a blanket over both of our laps. And... Oh, Debbie, you're such a flirt. I know. Tease, you tease. <laughs> I love it. Hi, Mayor. Hi. Did they find the guest book? They're looking. They'll find it. Watch, he's got the video on. Don't worry, I won't get him in there. <laughs> Go ahead, I've got my glasses on. Look at them shorts. Cool. Damn. Woo. Why are you that way? Why am I that way? Because I was born this way. I'm going to go wash my face. Have I got a towel? Have got a, a towel? Have we got an usher? Ron asked me who was going to hush her for him. I guess we forgot to tell him, too. Tom Bird. Bun, bun, bun. Ooh, yeah. You know, I really like wearing these things. And that's why I shop at the Myers After Six line.
I, Stephen, take you, Deborah, I, Stephen, take you, Deborah to, be my lawfully wedded wife, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day. Stephen, I give you this ring as a symbol of our covenant in Christ. As a minister of the Church of Christ, and by the authority which the state has vested in me, I now pronounce you, Stephen and Deborah, husband and wife. My strength alone, that all my life I'd come for you, and words that last a lifetime would be more than... Father in heaven, give today your blessing upon the marriage of Stephen and Deborah. we went to Mr. Steak. No matter where we went, Steve ordered the same thing. A cheeseburger, fries, and a chocolate shake. Everywhere we went, we start teasing him after a while that at his wedding reception, he would be served a cheeseburger. <laughs> I don't think that's what the kitchen has planned tonight. So just to be sure he gets his cheeseburger. <laughs> My toast to you is a quote from Helen Steiner Rice. May each year together find you even more in love and bring you all the happiness you're so deserving of. May the joy of true companionship be yours to share through life, and may you always bless this day that made you man and wife. Cheers to you. In Norway, where my wife is from, they give really long speeches at weddings, so we thought we'd get ready for it. <laughs> to Debbie, whom we know the best. Thank you for introducing Debbie when she was 11 years old. And she, 
as I'm a babysitter. And my boys just adored her. When the weather was bad, we'd come home and find Debbie in the, our bed with her arms around the boys, all three sound asleep. <laughs> she made cookies for the kids. She read stories for them. She sang to them. And the house was always picked up when we came home. We always felt secure wherever we went and we knew Debbie was taking care of our children. But there's another side to Debbie, too. She's quite an adventurous girl. She traveled to Norway with us one time to see some of Europe and uh, had some interesting times there. And, <laughs> and like I said, she's quite an adventurous girl. One time she decided to test the fire escape from the third floor window and all there was was a rope ladder. But she climbed out it anyway. Twice. Right. Yeah, we didn't get a picture of her the first time. That's why she climbed out the second time. Not much of a ham. Um, but Kiki, you know, I have always said that, that uh, if all the young people in the world were like Debbie and Steve, that uh, the world would not have most of the problems that we have today. So we'd like to propose a special toast to them on their wedding day. All happiness. <laughs> Steve asked his dad the other day, old fellow, how much for they a marriage license? Me, yeah. And his dad said, six dollars now and their entire <laughs> salary the rest of your life. <laughs> Where's the mother of the bride? I heard she was so sweet and young and sexy. <laughs> That was long before you were born. <laughs> Look, there's Ed Custer. I knew him when he wore a crew cut. Looks like a crew all jumped ship to me. <laughs> that Joyce Custer, she's some joke teller. She's got one joke. She tells everybody. Everybody's heard it. I haven't heard it. Tell me. Okay. You know how to sell a duck to a deaf man? You know how? Anybody want to buy a duck? <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> Wait, let's try one more time. She gets it, but I don't want to for the picture. I'll see you at Christmas. Uh, right right now. Now. Okay, see you later. See you later. Concentrating, right. What? Don't laugh. Don't shake. Uh, you're getting married? This week? Friday? Like, this Friday? Yeah. I went through that every day this week in every different class. Somebody else did. No. Boy, that got to be long after. You're getting married, like, fr this Friday? Yes, this Friday. For real. This is your last shot. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I kissed Nan on the cheek and she just about grabbed me and tore me off. <laughs> 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 I'd get in my car and I'd drive it to somewhere and then I'd get out and I'd go inside and shut the door. And then what? I don't know, the door's shut, you can't see through it. Good point. Good point, Phil.